Okay, this is my Friday card in a cuppa. I've got my cup of green tea here. And I'm just going to find you over on my laptop so I can make sure everything's working right. Hi. Whoops. This is my laptop. Uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Right, there we go. Cool. Okay, hope everyone's had a great week. Um, I've had a busy week with work. And today I had a really lovely morning out with some friends and we made cards. So that was really nice. So today I'm going to play with um, a stamp set I got from the sale last week. Um, it's called Sunny <laughs> Hi Beryl, long time no see. It's called Sunny Splash. I'm going to make a card with that today. And I also got this one, Wild and Sweet, in the stamps in the sale last week as well. Um, so they were 15% off last Thursday, I think it was. <laughs> Hi, Hi Colette. Yeah, I haven't seen you for ages. Um, so they were 15% off, but bonus about being a demonstrator is you also get your discount on top of the 15% off when they have sales. So I actually got these two stamp sets for 40% off with my dis demonstrator discount. So it's a bit of a perk being a demonstrator when things like that happen. So I've made a couple of cards with the Wild and Sweet set. <laughs> um, so I made this one yesterday. Now, can you see that in the plastic? I think you can, yes. With the koala. He's really cute. And I think um, a Santa hat on him would go down really well. So I'll have to go through my stamp sets and see if I can find a Santa hat that will fit on him. And this one's a panda bear. And I thought he was really nice. So these stamps are really, really nice because you don't have to actually colour them. They're really good monotone ones. Um, I have put a little bit of colour on these two ones just because I, I felt like I wanted to. So that was the couple I've made with that set. And the Sunny Splash one, this was the one I made yesterday with it. I'll take it out of the plastic, you might be able to see it better. Um, I've used the Friends Are Like she Seashells Embossing Folder behind it. And a piece of uh, vellum circle and just the swimsuits. Now there's no dye for these. I did have to fussy cut those swimsuits out, but they're not that hard to cut out. So let me put my phone up into my holder and I will try really, really hard not to drop you and we'll get started. And I'll also try not to finish the video instead of turning the camera around. I did that last week too. <laughs> oh dear. But you know what? I'm just going with the flow these days, trying not to stress so much. <laughs> Good advice from some friends I saw this morning. <laughs> Okay, so that looks pretty straight, I think. Let me just, oh, did that go, I need to go the other way. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's just see. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. There's a delay on the lap. <laughs> I wonder who that, that good advice from friends would have been, Colette. I'm not quite sure who that might have been. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this straight and I keep going the wrong way you know what I think I think that's pretty good yep okay so so this is in the annual catalog let me just find my annual catalog I'll show you the cards we made this morning at my friend's place at the end, I think. Yes. So let me find it in the annual catalogue. Get rid of the mini. <laughs> okay, I hope your visit to your mum goes well, Colette. <laughs> um, so Sunny Splash is on page 40, no, oh, page 40 something. My binding is punched a hole in it <laughs> there it is page 41 in that annual catalogue and I just really liked it it's a bit of fun with the costumes and everything and I just thought yeah that looks like fun coming into summer so that's the one we're playing with today we're also going to be using the 
tailored, tailored, tailored tags, I think is what they're called. These, tailor-made tailor tags. So page 175, um, these set of 10 dies are $39 and they're all different shaped tags. So some are rounded and some are squared off. So we're going to use those, which I've already pre-cut ahead of time. Okay, so, so we're not going to make exactly the same card. So I've already done a little bit of prep ahead of time. So I've got an A5 card base, a thick basic white, so I shall just get a nice ball line on that. I've got, this is a, one of the new in colours, Tahitian Tide, um, and it's 10 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres. And this is the Tahitian Tide in colour, so the in colour paper. Um, is six by six, $21, and you get the five in colours, and I'm pretty sure you get four, there's 40 sheets in the pack, and there's five, eight, eight pieces <laughs> of each colour. So I was going to do the spots, but I'm thinking I might do the, um, this, <laughs> the stripes. So, as I said, I've pre-cut some of the dies out. So now I just want to get my colour, my ink colours. And I'm going to use Tahitian Tide, of course, one of them. So, and I think we'll use Sweet Sorbet, one of the other ink colours. And... Will I use Parakeet Party? Look, yeah, let's. It is a very wild colour for me. <laughs> I don't normally use colours that wild. So let's get this one out first. So I don't know when the, sun, the sunny weather and the sunshine is going to stay around, do you? It's just not happening for a while. Okay, so... Now, I've gone and got that on the edge, so let me just get that off with a tissue and I'll try and be a little bit more careful when I ink up. The in colour inks do, they seem to be very juicy, the new in colours, and it's a little bit hard not to get ink on the edges, so you just got to be a bit careful when you stamp. So that's that one. Hmm. And I'll put that there. Take that one off. And I'll get another swimsuit. I might get the spotty one. And we'll do the spotty one in sweet sorbet. Not quite as juicy the sweet sorbet. But I am going to just get the ink off the edge. I could cut my stamps down, but I don't really like doing that unless I really have to. So just careful when you stamp. There we go. So that's my sweet sorbet one. And I'll get my um, chamois back in. Okay, now the last one I want to do is in the Tahitian Tide because that's going to match up with my um, cards, dock and paper. And I might do this one. I don't think I've done this one before, so let's do this one. So by stamping them onto the tags, hi Deb, <laughs> long time no see. <laughs> um, by stamping them onto the tags, you don't have to fussy cut them out, which is great. I mean, you could just stamp them onto a strip of cardstock, 
that would be another way of doing it. Okay. So I'm just going to, as I said, the in color inks seem to be particularly juicy. No, that's all right. Can be a pattern on the swimmers. <laughs> um, so these ones I did fussy cut out, but they're not that hard to fussy cut. It's not too detailed. And make a splash is the sentiment I'm wanting to use. So I shall get that block out. Push my door in. And I've got a three quarters of an inch um, strip of white cardstock. Once again, because they're so juicy, I am just wiping up the edges because it could be trouble. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that there and hopefully they won't get any shadow marks. That's pretty good. Okay. They're just fun swimsuits too, I think. Um, a bit old fashioned, but I like them. <laughs> okay, so we can also I'll put my Tahitian tied one in the middle. I suppose actually I won't put it in the middle because it's got there's two two pieces. I'll put the one piece in the middle. And I think that still looks alright. So let's just get our glue happening onto and did we think that the spots or the stripes look better? Okay, let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three on the stripes. Um, so that was, that was is what it would look like on the the um. I can't think for the life of me of that print <laughs> what it's called. I think it's too much blue happening with the spots. I think the stripes look better. I do think the stripes look better, so I am going to go the stripes. So I've got my glue here. And I'm just going to put it on the back of the DSP and put it on my Tahitian Tide card matting piece. There we go. The sun is trying to come out. I want to take my Rosie for a walk, so I hope it does decide to come out properly. <laughs> we got caught yesterday when we went for a walk and got caught in a shower of rain. But that's okay, we dried off. So with your card making, it doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes simple cards are just as effective if not more effective than really complicated fancy fold ones and I think it's just nice sometimes to go a little bit easier on yourself <laughs> okay so because I've got one one piece I'm going to put that in the center and I'm just thinking should I pop them now I will get my punch for my maker splash and it's the banner punch, my favourite punch. So, and it, this is three quarters of an inch wide. So you just feed it into your punch, and just make sure it's centered. Chop it off, and then I use this little bit that you chop off as a guide to estimate the same space from that end so it's still a, an estimation it's not 100% accurate but oh I just put that in my cup of tea <laughs> oh well it's only cardstock 
and then I chop it off and put this back in and make sure it's lined up and chop. Okay, so I'll try not to get that piece of my cup of tea. And I'm just going to get my bone folder because I've got a new blade in my trimmer and sometimes the, the edge is a bit um, upright, if that makes any sense. Now, let me have a think. I was thinking of doing it like so. And then having my banner come across like this. So in that case, my these will have to go flat and my banner will have to go up on dimensional. Now, this is the In Colour Baker's Twine. So you've got the five colours in Baker's Twine. And I'm just going to some twine in the holes of all these tags just to decorate it up a little bit ah, oh, fingers and thumbs there we go I'll probably cut them down a little bit Actually, I could do each colour to match the swimsuits, couldn't I? That might be nice. So I'll get rid of, not get rid of, but put that one back in there. Um, just grab another. I'll use my ribbon scissors because they cut better. So this is the sweet sorbet twine, coloured twine. There we go. Oh, honestly. I will get don't like doing silly things on videos because I can just, on lives, because I just get into a bit of a muff. There we go. I will get it right in a minute. I think. <laughs> it's because you guys are all watching. There we go. And then this is the uh, parakeet party twine. I will be trimming these down, but I just wanted to I'm just try and do this as quick as I can, but it's not working out that quick for me, is it? There we go. Okay. So I will cut these down a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'll put my twine back. So you can get the In Colour Baker's Twine. It comes in the five pack. $27 for that. And it's really good if you've got all the In Colours. It's, it makes sense to have the twine. I shall put my tags on with glue. This is a great die set to get. Um, $39, I think I said it was, in the annual catalogue. And you get 10, 10 dies of varying sizes in the tags. So that's that one. I will do the other end one now. I'm only putting these down with glue because I'm going to pop my sentiment and I think that would be um, better to have these flat. Now I'll put this one in. By doing one end first and then the other, it sort of gives you, you're centred. If you did the next one, and then you might not have them spaced properly. So I always do one end, then the other. And then I know what I can, the spacings for the centre is going to be right. 
I'll just move him down a fraction. Now I want him straight. There we go. Her straight. <laughs> okay, so this might look nice with um a little bit of daubering around the edges. So let me just grab my daubers. So we sell the daubers in packs of five. I think they're in packs of five. Let me have a look. I think I've got a pack here somewhere. Yes, five pack. Um, just for the life of me, I can't think of how much they are at the moment. But they'd be up the back of the catalogue in the um, tools section. Okay, so... I haven't done much daubering with my new in colours, Tahitian Tide. Here we go. So you don't need too much on your dauber to get some colour happening. So it's best to start light because you can always add more. You can't take off. <laughs> Oh, Deb, I've got to look for that paper too for you. It's probably right over there on my shelf. <laughs> when I finish this, I'll have a look. There we go. So that's that. Shall I put that away? And daubers. I got the Christmas gift tag kit in the mail the other day. So I'm keen to have a, a look and a play with that. Okay, so I'm just using up my scraps of my dimensionals. Like so, like that straight, looks straight to me. And I'll get my bling down. Now I'm not sure if I've got any of the in colour bling left. I might have. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, maybe. Or shall I use? Shall I use? Iridescent rhinestones. No, I think I like these. Okay, so I shall get this one. So just trying to work out where to put them. Where will I put my bling? I could put one here. One down here. And maybe one here. Or here. Let's put one here. There we go. That's my in colour, the matte dots. And that's pretty much done. We could stamp another one inside the card. But how simple is that card? It's really not that hard. And you know what? If you don't have a die cut machine or dies, you could just use rectangles of white cardstock so stamps ink and paper is really all you need to make these lovely cards um, I'll put this one on the inside with Tahitian Pint and we might put a sentiment inside as well make a splash maybe hello sunshine so looks pretty good 
We'll do it at an angle. There we go. So that's that one. So card making, paper craft doesn't have to be hard. It can be very, very simple, especially when... Hello, sunshine was what we decided to do, wasn't it? Um, you're starting out. All you need is ink, card and paper to make some beautiful cards. Now that's got some on the outside. And as I said, sometimes the simpler cards can have more effect than the most complicated cards. I just love my fun fold cards and you, you grow to those. <laughs> you don't start off with the, the fancy fold cards. You do work up to them. So there's our card for today for our card and a cuppa. And look at my cuppa. I've got to get that piece of cardstock out. <laughs> Come on, I'm sinking to the bottom now. Okay, well, we'll just leave it sink. I won't drink it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that um, Card in a Cuppa Facebook Live today using the Sunny Splash stamp set. This one, I added the Friends of Like Seashells embossing folder behind it, a vellum circle and a die that I just had lying on my desk. I think that's from one of the Christmas stamp sets. I think it's Bowers of Holly, that die. Um... But I tend to cut ones out and I just put things into a plastic bag because if I've got one already, then that's fine. And this this is the other shaped um, the other shaped tags in the so see how these ones are rounded off? This is the other one. That they're the other shape shapes. So you get five sizes in each style. So I have that bag on my desk with bits in it. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a fun stamp set. Even better when I got it at 40% off with the card, with the stamp sale last week. Um, so if you're new to crafting and you'd like to come to a class or to a beginner's class, let me know and I can certainly accommodate you with the, um, whether you're a beginner or advanced stamper, I can help with anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed that card today. This is my host code for September. If you go to my blog, stampingpassion.blogspot.com, over on the right-hand side, there's a September host code or a shop now button. Both of them have this host code attached to it when it takes you to the customer store. And that helps me buy little gifts for people who place orders during the month. So if you're wanting to place an, a, an order, go to my online store and shop with me and I will send you out a little gift at the end of the month and I'd love to have you as a customer. So thanks for watching, ladies, and I hope to see you on Monday for my Makeup Monday and have a great weekend. Bye for now.